Good day, YouTube. Today is 28th of June, 2018. It's been a beautiful 75-degree day here in beautiful Oregon. And uh, last weekend was uh, Our Town's Relay for Life, which I am co-chair for the event. I also obviously do the sound system. I MC the event and team captain for our company's team, which I didn't get to spend uh, much time with had many other duties to attend to uh, it's a very long day for me my day starts about five in the morning ended to the next morning all the setup i not only had uh, a front of house systems for uh grandstands and we had uh entertainment uh, live entertainment and i had the uh, my what i call the pv tower power that we built together this winter and I had three of these uh, PV International 115s on the tower, providing sound for the entire uh, complex. It was done at Memorial Stadium, quarter mile track, where all of our uh, events were happening and the walkers were walking. At the end of the event, I lowered the tower while playing music at a lower sound level and i realized this speaker here uh didn't survive the weekend it's not completely dead but the driver is making uh is not sounding good it's making funny noises um a couple three things are probably happening it might be toast um or it might be dirty and that's where the coil slides you know supposed to be freely in and out of the magnet so i thought let's diagnose it together so let me grab a screwdriver we'll pop the cover off this screwdriver and uh the first test we're going to do is push in and out on the speaker itself um and we're looking for wow well, that velcro was really good it's like it's never been on which isn't a bad thing. At least my other ones are Velcro. Okay, there we go. So if we hear noises while we're pushing the speaker in and out, then we know we have uh, drag issues. It could either be because of dirt or it could be because the coil has overheated and is now no longer perfectly round. It's distorted and will need to be replaced. Um, so these are PV Black Widows. If you're familiar with Black Widow speakers, it has a cast aluminum cage, the speaker itself, and then the magnet you can separate from the speaker. And the advantages to that are PV sells the parts separately. So where this speaker might be about, oh, from memory, about $160, $70, something like that, you can buy just the speaker part without the magnet for about a hundred hundred ten dollars so it makes it a little more affordable um if i was running these in a you know someplace where i was running them day and uh, every single day it wouldn't uh be a bad idea for me to have a spare and i could literally swap it out in 10 minutes and we'll show you just how easy it is i was going to take it out but we haven't diagnosed it yet so let's get closer let me lower you down close enough to see and to hear because if we can hear uh, some sort of noise when I push this in and out then we know a little better about what our issues are listen oh there it was Did you hear it right off the bat it was sticky I hope that came through but it's not dragging But it was sure stuck right there, and that's that's certainly the issue I was having. It really sounded like it was sticking. Um, it was like a, oh, it was like the connector wasn't all the way in. It was making funny noises. So um, we back you out, and we'll take it out. Let's take the speaker out and see what we got. Take a second. 
These are PVs, so these are decent. These would be machine screws in a nut surface. They're not wood screws. I have these sitting on a cart, so it's a little wobbly. So don't think they'll fall over, but I can at least roll them around. Sure, when you want them to fall off, they don't fall off the screwdriver. If you've never seen a Black Widow, you don't know how, how beefy these things are. Oh, look at that. We got dirt, dust. We have issues. Okay, remember yellow, positive. You don't have to remember. I can remember. I can review the video. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a telltale sign that we have damage. Okay. I'll stop the video. I'll set this down somewhere we could get a closer look. All right. We got her sitting down. Um, the magnets held on with three uh, quarter inch bolts. Got some grade five, seven sixteenth socket. Should fit it. And these magnets are strong. It's amazing the build quality on these speakers, but the, as soon as I got this apart and saw this black dust, I realized, okay, so this is a... Uh, nothing's supposed to be rubbing together in there, and they definitely are. Oh, I see what we got going on here. So, uh, there's uh, plenty of videos online right now about this foam that was in here and how it'll come apart on you. Oh, yeah. And that's what we got going on here. So, uh, this is a good thing. It's telling me that... Look, I'll look, show you what's down inside of here. This is the other half of that foam. And it was like a filter. Right? So it was in this speaker, and half of it fell out. It was just rumbling around in there. But worse yet, it's uh, made a mess in here is what it has done. So, nothing wrong with the speaker that foam does not need to be there what it has done is gotten inside the groove that this voice coil travels in and remember when i first pushed on the speaker and it went boop um it was breaking the seal it had really actually stuck in there so um i don't know that y'all need to see how to clean this out but all i really need to do is clean this junk out of this uh, groove in the magnet, you know, and this is pretty robust. There's also still some residue in here. Um, this metal screen would be good enough to keep the bugs out or the whatever. But I've got to get all this crud out of there, and I'm going to have to clean it out of this voice coil, and it is caked on there. I'll experiment with cleaners. I'll be as mild as I can, but it's not. There shouldn't be any like, glue in there. I think just with some mild soap and be very gentle because if you bend this, it's over. And like I said, this is uh, in the $110 range to replace just this. Nothing ever go wrong with a magnet. Well, not that I could possibly think of anyway. Um, and this is a monster, but you don't have to buy this from PV if you have a speaker problem. Um, all you have to do is replace this. And. Focus, there we go. There's Black Widow, and that's the model number 1505 KA. These, of course, are made in USA. This is cast aluminum. 
this is good good stuff um, if you run them hard enough uh, you could probably hurt them if you run them beyond what they're rated for or if you run them at their rating for you know a huge long time you could get them hot you could overheat the coil and you could have problems but other than that these things are just tough and these are old now uh, man these are I'm sure from the 90s they're possibly older I didn't do my research on these exactly but I think they're from the mid 90s we'll go from there so we have properly diagnosed the speaker the the fix for it is easy enough um, it's very clear that it's just got a bunch of black goop on it and probably it's whatever side was on the bottom because the foam fell down not up and it just scooped everything up so all I really need to do is clean this up reassemble it put it back in good to go I don't have to spend any money on it that's good um, and that's that so we have it diagnosed we have the repair ahead of us let's get her done I'm gonna end the video you don't have to watch me clean it put it back together uh, if there's any uh, further damage beyond this which I'm not thinking there is we'll do another video but I think we got her Thank you guys for watching, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Share my videos with a friend if you don't mind. We'll try to grow this channel a little bit. I appreciate that. We'll catch you on the next one.